Oh, yes. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad. You found yourself a hunter. <sighs> Time to get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Skull123 here. Why did I do that? Welcome. Welcome to Bloodborne. Uh, um, I am here for a certain reason. Let's see, this little bloody thing ahead, but special item waits ahead. This despicable blobby thing. I don't know what they're talking about. But, welcome to Bloodborne, the glass cannon, glass cannon run. So... Firstly, I'm probably going to title this series The Glass Cannon Gauntlet or something like that, but we are playing with a fully original character, treat women with care, eventually beware of liar. That's funny because when you come back here later in the game, all this extra stuff changes. Oh, child. Yeah, you come back here later in the game for something. Someone's gonna be right here. Let me just make sure I know what I'm getting into before I... Why does my arm look so lanky? I'm not... I'm slim. I choose to make my arm slim for her. So, let's get started. My character's name is... Uh, I forget, I think... Uh, Garu. I think, I think I named her that. Garu the Glass. Yeah, Garu saw the Glass. Which is just Japanese for glass. Garusa. I'm probably butchering that, but it's my character. I pronounce it the way I want. Garusa. I thought about naming her Gara, but I think just Garusa was better because Gara is, you know, the Naruto character. But Garusa the Glass. Garusa the Glass. We're just Gar Garu the Glass. You know what? Yeah, Garu's better. Don't question the S at the end. So normally, so this run, I will do a death counter, as well as among many other things. I don't think this thing can sense me. Actually, no, ligands have, like, good smell, so they can smell me, I think, when I get close, right? 
Uh, shoot. All right, so I'm going to do a death counter for this entire game. Like, I thought I could sneak because you can't actually kill that first. You can kill that lichen and get out of there, except I don't have weapons, nor do I know how to do it. I don't think I want to count that as the first death because it's a, it's mandatory technically the tutorial death that's supposed to happen Like yeah, you can kill it, but it's super complicated for me because I don't know how you got to like go behind it and then smack in the ass I thought he couldn't smell me But I knew he could smell me because it's a fucking wolf and they have heightened senses and all that stuff but Welcome to the series we are Garusa the Glass, or Garu the Glass, or simple. I honestly, I might just restart. I might restart right now just to change your name to Garu instead of Garusa. Let's do that right now, actually. <laughs> I just started. I'm already going to restart. So let's try and kill this thing this time. So I need to run up to it. It's going to swing on me. And I need to get behind it. I'm at the oh, shit. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I killed it. I killed it. Garu the glass proving her power. Oh, lovely day. Lovely day indeed. I don't know how to fight the the, 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 the the people outside of here though. So I'm probably gonna die next. Oh. Let's see. I can't open this. Oh, Garu the glass. Out in about town with no weapons, no safety. Just just her hands. Central Yonam. Yeah, I don't think I can pull that down. I'm pretty sure I need to hit a... Or no, I can. I think I just need to hit a lever. Ah, oh, shoot. Can I really, man? Well, well, I, 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 I'm regretting. Can I open this door? Oh, damn! Ooh, ooh, Garu the glass, proving her strength. Oh boy, oh, Garu the glass. Oh, Garu the glass. She didn't even die. Garu the glass. Automatically better than doing better than Garusu the glass. Garasu the glass. Ooh, that's her that's her sister. Her sister. Stank ass beast. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't know what she's talking about. I'm just a normal girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just got here. Well... Trust me, I'll be fine. I can't open it. But Garu Sue the Glass. Nope, I gotta keep remembering it's Garu the Glass. To the hunter's dream I go by myself this time. No need of assistance. Woo! I'm already doing way better. Hell, better than my first run. First one of the entire game, I mean. 
Am I laid out on the floor? <laughs> Why am I on the floor? Ah, oh, well, whatever. Garu the Glass does what she does best. Be a woman. A strong woman. Capable woman. Strong, capable woman that can defend herself. I am here for the utmost amounts of giggles and shits. Oh, who is this little missy? An abandoned doll. She's really pretty. Alrighty. Gift from the messengers. Trick weapon. So, to start this run, the strongest weapon. Fine, Hunter X. Hunter X is the strongest weapon, and the uh, Blunderbuss is, I think, the strongest weapon between these two. Because the pistol is just long range, but the, the Blunderbuss is a shotgun. What's this? A notebook. Time for blood. Who this old man? What's up? Is this the guy from the start of the game? Or or not? Bro didn't know his name? Bro had to think of a name? Got you. I'm a woman. How would that work? What doll? You mean that little pretty out there? Man, you crazy old man. What's this? You know, I've always thought that this was an item. It never was. So I think I can't do anything here yet because, you know, I just started the game. These guys. This bath appears linked to nightmares with their no messengers. Excuse me, so, uh, Hey, trading blood echoes with messengers, buy and sell items. Hey, when did I get bullets? Can I buff myself? I don't think I can. I need to use the doll, so I have to wait. All right, we have weapons now. Yay! I can still fight with my hands, though, if I felt like it. Oh, wow, there's actually a... I didn't know that you could use your hand as a melee weapon. Like, I'm using it on the... What the... Is this a trick weapon of my hand? Your hands are trick weapons? That's in so That is so cool! I didn't know that your hands could become trick weapon. Like, <laughs> you can make your hand a trick weapon. It's freaking a uh, double axe handle. Like, 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 yeah, double axe smash, bro. That's so cool. That's not what I'm here for, though. I... Am Garu the Glass. Strongest there is, but weakest when it comes to taking a hit. Garu the Glass, Glass Cannon, at your service. Uh, Central Yarnum. Now we can get this run started. So, let's talk. Garu the Glass, Glass Cannon. This is going to be a fully Glass Cannon run. What does that mean? Well, if you know the term Glass Cannon, you have low HP and... You can deal a lot of damage. Characters that can relate to glass cannons would be... I can't think of any of the top of my head. I remember when I first started watching One Piece, my friend compared Nami to be a glass cannon. Like, she can, like she has a lot of technicality and can do really cool stuff, but, like, she's just a basic human that has, like, no powers. I don't know if anything changes later on because I'm not that far in One Piece, but Nami, you know, just a basic girl. You must accept Monster. 
Who? You mean that guy over there? Spin cycle. So I didn't start the game with the hunter axe. My friend started the game with the hunter axe. Two-handed weapon. And I know that like the thing with it is that it's a uh, heavy attack will take all your energy. But you know it's a massive AOE spin. In the blood guide your way. So this will be an actual playthrough of Bloodborne. Uh, I'm not gonna upgrade my HP at all, and I'm not gonna upgrade my HP at all. And I'm also going to um. So I'm not upgrading my HP, and I'm going to become a uh, gonna fight every single boss. There also is gonna be a death counter, which, yep. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head what to do at the start of the game. <laughs> I forgot. It's been a while since I played Bloodborne. Actually, been a very long time since I played. So, we are going to basically upgrade everything except my health. Which is a really bad idea, but I don't care and I think it'd be funny. So first, let's open this. Time for blood. And we will kind of give this dude a fight. I don't know how good parrying works on little dude here. Uh, I'm going to try to be natural when it comes to getting my sh damage. And like, you know, like, dude just... Bro, this dude looks so cool. He's like the executioner. Oh, shit. You see me? Oh, no. How much is he going to do? I just started the game. Ah, that hurts. Why am I locked off? I can't roll. I don't think you can you parry this dude. Uh, you should be able to. I'm not remember how to use blood vials. Okay. I remember. I remember some things about this game. Blood vial. Yay. So, there was a lot of things that I missed out on my original run. I missed out on, um, one of the most useful items in this game. Because I couldn't find it. I didn't know how to get it. It's like something for a workshop tool. Uh, for gems, I think. But I just didn't understand how to do it. So, yeah. Death counter. Uh, I'll try my best to do whatever I can. No promises. Because, you know, I suck... And I haven't played this game in a long time. But we are going to fight every boss. We'll fight every boss. Um, kill as many people as I can. As many evildoers as I can, I mean. Ain't there a guy somewhere nearby? Somebody here, I know that. I don't know where exactly. Oh, I thought there was a guy here. Molotovs. Hello. At least he was nice about it. Isn't there somebody... There's supposed to be someone here, I think. Normally. From what I remember, at least. Oh, shit. Haha. -ha. So, I actually never used the uh, Hunter at... Ah! I never actually used this weapon when I started, so... Speed! doing pretty good at the same time these are you know the basic enemies of the game so it's not like I'm expecting to be bad at all you pregnant and rat oh shit where'd you come from don't expect to see me lose too much because I'm actually kind of good at this game seeing how I got the uh, secret ending or true ending I don't know but uh, a lot of stuff will be tougher for me because you know, because uh, I'm playing with no HP. I think the biggest threat to my gameplay will definitely be... Is there someone behind here or is it the next one? It's the next one. But, uh... Oh, shit. But the biggest problem is definitely going to be... 
Bro, I need to get a new weapon. I'm gonna be honest. I don't not. I do not want this weapon at all. But I have to get it because it is the strongest weapon at the start. Oh, I thought he was dead, but whatever. <laughs> Nothing but fatties here. <laughs> oh, is it because they have like a set all these sacks of food? <laughs> I think my biggest threat for my gameplay will be poison for obvious reasons like poison is you know health draining and that's not fun right these guys see me I remember I remember that I remember that from my original run that these guys kind of scouted me out and snuck up on me come on take this wide swipe take two wide swipes Heavy attack. So because I have a two-handed weapon and I can't use my gun, they give me a third attack instead of instead of the gunshot. I have this swipe attack, which you know, wide AOE attacks are you know going to be great for crowds and stuff when I fight them later on. I am very prepped and willing to uh, sacrifice all of my life to kill a bunch of these dudes. That are, of course, well-deserving of it. I mean, I'm just... That are well-deserving of it. I'm just a... Shut up, guy. Remember, a horde beast. Spin attack. The fact that I can get a visceral after they're dead is insane. It doesn't do anything for me, but hey. Makes me feel strong. Doing really good, honestly, for my uh, first run. Seeing how I haven't died yet. And I'm not counting that tutorial stuff. Technically, this is a new game new game so yeah did no one see or hear that yep there's a dog I remember there was a dog somewhere I had to get had to get rid of him I'll just keep sneaking around if nobody sees me then it's not a problem there's no crouching button either yeah, there's no crouch button. That guy's just making noise back there. Come at me, vile wretch. You're next, eh? Give me it! Honestly, doing really good. Is there any more gunslingers? Nah, there shouldn't be, so... Oh shit, I whipped, I whipped heavy, I whipped big. Wide swipe, don't kill me now. Ooh, that was nice. Wide swipe. I'm doing the best I can. Perfect time for a spin. Yeah, take out everyone in the vicinity. Good job. My past Bloodborne knowledge is surely not failing me right now. In fact, it is helping me. And I forgot to take that guy's loot. Big thing is loot. Well, I mean, I don't know how big I'm going to have to be focusing on loot, seeing how I'm going to be using this axe. And Well, I mean, focusing on loot. All right. There is a couple things that I want to do. Because we are going for full damage builds, so I'm going to make like a little checklist of stuff. Uh, get certain weapons. <laughs> Excuse me, get certain weapons. The main one I'm looking for is the uh, Holy Blade. I think it's called that, the Holy Blade. It'll be super useful, and it's also really strong, and it's what I used in my main run. My second weapon, my first weapon was a Saw Spear, because it's the best weapon in the game. One, one of the best weapons. It's a really... Isn't there a secret pathway somewhere nearby? Yeah, right here. Which is where all this, yeah, freaking dogs and stuff are. Crazy women crying and laughing. Is it because the way I knock? Crazy lady. They've definitely gone insane. They're just laughing. Freaks of nature, I say. All right, time to meet one of my favorite enemies, the Brick Baby. I don't think you can sneak up on him anyway, so I'm not going to. 
My boy, the brick baby. Very easy to fight. How about you die? Well, it was nice to see you once again, brick baby. It's just a troll. They hold bricks. Call them brick babies. They get later iterations, like one that wears a coat, I think. I'm not too sure. What's... That... That lullaby... That lullaby is really reminiscent. Speed to win! I only killed one. You can do better. Spin to win. He's just too low to the ground. That's why I didn't hit him, because he was too low. How the hell did you duck under my swing? Oil urine. Bro. I just... This, this lullaby that I'm hearing, this little... It's giving me PTSD because there's a boss later in the game that has that song playing all the time. Uh, Murgo's Wet Nurse. I think I posted that fight on my channel. I haven't even upgraded my character yet. I'm just strong. Well, I can't upgrade my character until I get some insight. So. Close by device. I wonder, yo, I should really look up Bloodborne lore, because I do know the lore of this game, but it's simple to forget. Yeah, come over here. Come, come over here. Come over here. So, yeah, just simply enough, this is going to be a Bloodborne playthrough. Oh, shit. Oh, he, he can hit me through the cracks? I'm dragging you out. I will drag specifically just your dog if I have to. Damn, you are so buck wild that you even forgot about me and just went, ha ah, Hey there! I killed your dog and you won't be able to uh, you won't be able to avenge him. Because I am too strong. I am Garu the Glass. Where the hell did you guys come from? Oh no, I don't want my first death to be from these weaklings. Bro, it's sad that health recovery is going to become so useless to me later on. Because how little health I'm going to have and how much damage bosses will do. Like, there's a lot more armor that's like buffing for blunt attack and like a, like a thrust attack, I think. Oh crap, I tried. I freaking tilt attacks weren't really my thing. The jump attack and stuff. Sweet, blood vials. Doing really good, honestly. Coming up on near a shortcut. Reeks of fatty. I mean the food. Is there food? All this, all this food? A cold wind howls. I think there's something if I go over this end. I don't remember, but... And there are... Isn't there a troll nearby here? Somewhere? What's... No, oh, this is an entirely separate area that I'm not gonna go to right now. Uh, I mostly don't feel prepared for it. Sweet, some pebbles. Rocks are pretty useful. Behind you, don't you dare look at me. What? All right, time for my least favorite part, going through this this bridge, because the fucking wolves, I can't can't beat the fucking wolves, and there's two of them. Can I can I drag you out? Yeah, come come to me, come to me. Can you please please come to me? Yeah, come here, come here. No, both of you foolish wolves. I hate these enemies. Oh, he's gonna eat my ass! Ah! I don't want my first death to be against some dogs! I killed your predecessor, I'll kill you!
Close. No! My first death. First death was to some stupid mutts. <sighs> I need insight. I need my runes back now. I need to sneak through. I don't even remember how I first killed them. I don't think I did first kill them. How do I open this gate again? I need to go around. Super complicated. You know what? I'm just gonna run. Like, who's gonna stop me? Deranged maniac. Bro, f oh, this guy's here. Bro, like, fall damage is gonna be a big problem. Fall damage. Uh... Poison, like any really deep, any debuff sides. There's so many guys here. I killed all these dudes. A lot more than I'd expect. Holy crap! You plague ridden rat. <laughs> Back in Bloodborne, man. All right, I'm just gonna run straight to the uh, the bridge. Try to get my runes back or my blood echoes. Sorry, I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of Elden Ring. Fuck out of my way. Stupid ass dogs. Away! Away! No! Yeah, actually, I'm gonna be getting chased by like a whole army of people. Oh, because I wanted to get my blood back. But if not, I'm going to try to run to a uh, how hidden path. Where? Up here? Oh, they mean that. I don't think there is any blood thing over there either. All right, so I'm gonna try to run past the wolves. Ooh, okay, Jew game on point. And then sneak in here. Oh, sh I forgot about him. I was like, oh man, you know, there is a guy in here. Forgot about him entirely, so that's what happens. I need to buy the hand lantern. So, I'm also not going to play online, like... Speeding to win. Did someone hit me? Where the hell did you come from? I didn't see you. I didn't see you. Stupid. Alright. Alright, Gramps. Time for you to die. Pungent blood cocktail. I think he has a gun, right? Yeah, he has a... Think he has a gun in his hand? He should have a gun in his hand. Technically, Grandpa shouldn't have his gun in, shouldn't have his gun in his hand, but... Grandpa's a little crazy. He's a little rascal. Little, little rapscallion. Oh, door doesn't open from the side. That's great. Okay. So, I do, before the episode ends, I want to fight the first boss of the game. Mini-boss, technically. But bosses are bosses. I don't think there is really such thing as a mini boss in this game. They're just flat. They're just all bosses. All right. So let's open this gate. Head back to the hunter's dream, and prepare to fight the boss coming up. I forgot that I cannot use the doll until I gain insight, so I actually can't do shit here. Ain't that just great? Hopefully, I can defeat the Cleric Beast on my first try like I did in my original run. I think... Yeah, it was my original run. I defeated it on my first try. So, I think it was my first try. I want to say it was my first try. I don't fully not remember. Hi. How the f how how dare you? I think I got my health back from hitting him, but still. Yeah, I can't upgrade my character till I gain insight, so beware of wheelchair. You know, I haven't even used my gun. Treat message with care. 
Let's see. The hunt began. The healing church left us, blocking the gate bridge to Cathedral Ward. As the Oleron burned to the ground, the moonlit night. Some guy's mumbling. Mumbling something fierce. Don't ever forget this crazy guy here. And then there's a second crazy guy over here. Yep, I remember this. I remember all this a bit too well now. Now that I'm back. I don't know how do I get the hunter's torch. Or just get a torch in general so I can see better. Alright. I know that you can drag the dogs here. The wolves, I mean. The lichen. So I'm probably going to do that. So I can kill them. Hey, wolves. Seems like one of you got your attention on me. Beware of wheelchair, beware of beast. Haha, you can't hit me, you stupid. Haha, get whacked. Get whacked. There we go. Free blood echoes to put away. Now, uh, I guess I'll deal with the brick baby. The birds can wait. Or I guess all three of you can just take it. Nope, I forgot, you guys are low to the ground. Can I bring the brick baby to the thing? Stupid ass birds. Ah, oh, my neck! Oh, uh, let's switch off transformed. And shoot this man. No, 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 no! Crazy guy. Take my blood vials back. Beware of ailing one. So here is the first boss. Remember giant beast. Beware of giant beast or turn back. Treat hounds with care. Time for the cleric beast. Get your ass out here. Giant one, approach me and show me feeble power. I do not know how this thing attacks. This will be where the death count really starts picking up. Oh, this thing is terrifying. Oh, you don't hurt that bad. Yeah, you're actually really weak. Who would have thought? Am I overreacting? Where did he go? What is that? What the hell is that? A buff? Or something? Ah! I'm gonna be honest, I should uh, be a bit careful. What is he doing? Is he swinging? I Help! 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 Oh, ouch! That didn't even hurt! I didn't feel nothing! All it take was a double dose. You don't, you don't hurt me at all. You know, I don't feel a thing, you big bully. But where's its eyeball? Ah, 
Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, you're starting to pick up his strength. I missed. Honestly, he didn't do that much damage. I was expecting more. Okay, but he, that's a double hit. It's good to know. Is he throwing stuff at me? You know, he's throwing a temper tantrum. Oh! I shouldn't be more careful and mindful about this boss, though. First boss of the game. Ain't no way he'll go down easy, easy. I mean, to me, he might, because I'm good at the game. Will I first try this thing? I don't think so. All right, half health. Something should probably change. Phase two. I'm guessing at least. I don't know. He might gain new attacks. I gotta stop using that thing. That thing's taking away all my stamina. I'm just gonna keep whacking you. Honestly, if, I just, if I'm up on your ass, you can't do anything. Except that you do have that back attack, but that's not scary at all. He's okay. He actually is getting stronger. Quit throwing tantrums. Shut up. Shut up, you big baby. Baby, you want a bottle? A big dirt bottle? Let's go! Cleric Beast defeated! Prey slaughtered. And that gives me more insight because that counts as a boss. Yay! Hold up. Hit a jester. I have some jesters. Yeah! Woohoo! I don't know how, uh, what jesters are assigned to what, but yeah, let's cheer. Or uh, how do I check them? Joy. Yay! I'm trying to freaking do jesters and stuff. It's this. It sucks to try and do. I had to do a flip with my controller. No, I can't. They keep doing that. I'm not. I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> Why does it keep doing that one? There you go. Much better. All that just to do that. All right, we defeated our first boss. Honestly, the Hunter Act ain't as bad as I first thought it was. I mean, I didn't think it was a bad weapon. I just don't like it because two-handed weapons aren't really my thing. I don't really like two-handed weapons because I like to use my gun in case so I can hit that parry. My baby, my lover, she's back. Hello. Hi. Here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter. Pursue the echoes of blood. And I will channel them into your strength. Yay! You will hunt beasts. And I will be here for you. Yay! Embolden your sickly spirit. Yay! I want to talk to you first. Did you speak with Gamma? Mm hmm. He was a hunter long, long ago. But now serves only to advise them. Mm. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. But I'm here. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Got you. Use blood to race stats. Bro, I have 8,000 blood echoes. I'm so happy. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Damn, I only- I need very- Alright, so yeah, I'm not- This is staying on 10 for the entire game. This, though, will definitely get upgraded. <laughs> upgrade that by 3, upgrade this by 2, upgrade this. Upgrade both these by 2. So... I do want to get a certain weapon, which 
the it's the Chicago, which it's we are nowhere near in the game to get that because we are just starting. And the problem with the weapon is that it takes a lot of blood to use. Like it actually drains HP every time you want to use it. But I am willing to do that. Until then, or until now, we'll just be buffing strength, skill, and endurance. Of course, strength is more valuable to my weapon because it scales on strength. Skill is good for uh, the visceral attacks, the one where I shove my hand in their ass and stuff. And of course, we need stamina to do anything, so. Yeah. I'm, uh, my love. Find your worth in the waking world. My love. How much I love you. First try defeated the beast. That just shows that I'm goaded at the game. I do want to check something really quick to see if I can... What the f... Oh, I thought he was chasing me. It appears he killed himself with the Chicago. I think that was a Chicago. There's something here. Holy Chalice is required. All right. So, I can't cheat just yet. Because, <laughs> uh, there's a thing that I need to get before I can start buffing myself like crazy. Which, it's somewhat cheating, but not cheating because it's in the game and people made it like that. But, I am I probably will use it, just not that much. Oh, did I? <laughs> I guess I forgot this. Either that or I did get it and I just don't remember. Because I have insight now. All right. I'm going to end it off here for the first episode of Bloodborne, the Glass Gauntlet. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. This will become a beautiful legend of Garu the Glass. And until we meet again, I hope you all have a great day. We ended off having one death, two deaths. I think, I think just one death, one death. Yeah, one death. Great, great for the first episode. That number is going to spike to the hundreds later on. <laughs> Pro probably by the end of the series. I can tell you for sure, though, the Blood Starved Beast is definitely going to be one of my worst enemies, seeing how I couldn't even beat that normally by myself. It was a very hard boss, and I'm going to be poisoned. Dude, poison is literally the weakness of, my, of me, because I have such little health. That's all, though. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Whatever the hell it is that I do. Hope you all enjoyed. Love you all. Uh, like and subscribe. Share with your friends who think they'll enjoy my dumbass content. I'll see you all next time, and have a great, great day. Bye-bye.